Hey gang, Cthulhu2 here once again in the Caves of Darkoth. Now, unfortunately, the real Episode 6 had terrible footage. Um, a ton of dropped frames for some reason is basically unwatchable. So I'm just doing this quick little filler to let you guys know what happened and uh, just to keep you up to speed on what's going on here in the Caves of Darkoth. So obviously, these are the depths of Darkoth, and I had promised to go in here. So that is what I did. And yes, I know I'm in creative right now. I just wanted to do a quicker run through. So down there was some loot to help me through. I believe there was a good sword, good pick, and good diving helmet, all gold. So I used those. I also brought with some glowstone to light the way, but it was fairly well lit. Now these depths were uh, rife with ores. Lots of gold, iron, diamond, emerald, all that good stuff. So um, after exploring through here the first time, I came back with that uh, looting 2 pick that I found in the blazy area and used that liberally. So um, did me pretty well for, for that stuff. And yeah, just a lot of swimming. The golden diving helmet had some type of respiration on it, so that was very useful. And then you come up here, and there are four areas to go. This was all dark. There was a few natural spawns, nothing too terrible. So in here, we have the Chill Room. If you've been doing an LP on my map, Wonders of Drayham, your name might be here. Also, if you helped me in any way, your name will probably be here as well. So this is just a simple little shout-out room. It was fairly dark. There was a couple natural spawns, nothing terrible. There were some uh, chest mine carts in random places that had stuff like fire charges. Actually, it might still be in here fire charges, bottles of enchanting, and whatnot. Random stuff. So let me just go through these shoutouts real quick. The Gaming Hole Dude's Pond. Nice pond, sir. Zelenus's Chair. Uh, Monkey's Enchantment Table, which I have stolen. There's fire under there for some strange reason. And then we have... Uh, uh, learn to move. The Zmolaha's Dude's Bed. I don't know. We've got... Azure Sonata's Suicide Hole, which I checked out and there wasn't anything hidden below it. And Ender Egg's Ender Chest. And, oh, one more. One more quick shout out before, well, two more. A sign for everyone I didn't mention. Derp. And now, the piece de resistance. Cthulhu 2's Waterfall. Look at that. Look at that beautiful waterfall. And there's one of those chest things in there, too. So uh, thank you very much, Creeper Devil, for the shout-out. I appreciate it, and I really did enjoy your Wonders of Drayham map. I'm pretty sure I've mentioned that before. So there were three more directions to go. This one was full of glass and lots of spider spawners, which I have since uh, gone back and hunted for and gotten experience out of. And this suicide pit actually was not a suicide pit. It was a little secret chamber. There were bookshelves and stuff in here. There were spider spawners, and there was this. Oh, why didn't I take this stuff? That's not so bad. Instant damage, poison, instant damage. I'll take the bread at least. Because um, recent events in other episodes that have already been recorded have left me with uh, fewer resources than I would like. So yeah, that's all that was down here. Just a little bonus thing for being nosy. Nothing great. And let's see... Over here, if you flip that switch, there was lava here, and the switch stopped the lava flow. And these rooms were full of clay and spider spawners. I can't remember if they were cave spiders or just regular. But yeah, basically the same thing through these two rooms. There was lava there, maybe? And then you come here, and you find the Troll Face book by Creeper Devil. And you read it, and it says, Trollolololol! So yeah, thanks Creeper Devil. It did make me chuckle, though. I enjoyed that. And this area wasn't really that hard because I think the way the blocks were laid out, the spiders couldn't really spawn. I don't know. Maybe it was regular spiders. But I got a lot of experience breaking all the spawners. That was nice. And then last but not least, um, you flip that switch and a big pillar of sand falls down. I don't know. It was cool. You come in here and there were a decent number of skeleton spawners around. So I had to take those out, light things up, flip a switch, the water flows down this hole, and it takes you down here where you had some creeper spawners waiting for you, as you can tell. Little explosions there. 
and brought you into this terrible area. There were a lot of spawners in here. Creepers, uh, skeletons, and zombies, I believe. Lots of... Or a really shoddy path, lots of cobwebs to slow you down. And meanwhile, I was trying to talk about The Hobbit, both the books and the movie that is... Or not the books, plural, there's only one Hobbit book. Yeah, the book and the movie. And also this cool sword I enchanted and named called Glamdring. I was explaining what that meant as far as being Gandalf's sword, meaning faux hammer, whatnot, that he gets in The Hobbit. So, nerdy stuff like that. And then there was, I think this was just a zombie dungeon here. There was some random stuff in there, and I've put crap in there since. Lots of creeper spawners in this next area, which made things a little dicey. And then you just come through here, these weird half slab areas, and you get your brown wool. There you go. So, uh, I, I did manage to secure the brown wool and put it in the wool monument, and you guys will see that when we get back there next time. So I believe that's all that happened. Um, it was probably one of the best episodes I've ever recorded. Um, man, I was there was some great commentary, great gameplay. I was extremely witty throughout the whole thing. Really didn't make any mistakes in my gameplay at all. Um, yeah, it was really just solid gold footage. And sadly, uh, Creeper Devil took it from me somehow. I don't know how he messed with my recorded footage, but he screwed it up and it and he made a bunch of frames get dropped and it's just unwatchable. But at least I was able to fill you guys in here. So now you know what's going on. My next couple episodes are oh my goodness, stupid water. The next couple episodes are forthcoming. Like I said I have done a little bit of recording already. And I guess that's about all there is to say here. I don't know why I'm hearing so many terrible things. That is not exciting at all. I thought I had this area fairly clear. Anyway, that's the brown wool. It's in the monument. Everything's A-OK. -okay. And I just fell down here because I don't know how to use creative moving. There we go. All right, well, we'll call it there. Stay tuned for episode 7, which will be a real episode, full-length episode, all that good stuff. And we are definitely getting closer to finishing this awesome map, so stay tuned for that. All right, thanks for watching, everybody. Uh, stay classy, Internet if that's possible.